welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and I'm here today with a review of a movie that I missed in its initial run in theaters, but it is coming on DVD next Tuesday, so what a better time to review it than now. Uh, I'm going to tell you if it's worth picking up at the Redbox or Netflix or buying it or whatnot. So, uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, is my review of the 2016 romantic comedy, How to Be Single. When she gets a new job in New York City, New York City... A young woman puts the relationship with her boyfriend on a break as she's never been able to be on her own or figure out who she is. After things don't exactly go great, she wants to get back with her man only to find out he's seeing someone else. Oh snap! With the help of her sister, friends, and a few more guys, she tries to get through the breakup and move on with her new single life. So what did I think of How to Be Single? I thought it's a run-of-the-mill romantic comedy. It has a huge Sex in the City vibe to it, but feels like a diet, watered-down version of the franchise. It can be raunchy once in a while, but is really not as vulgar as it claims to be. The jokes are really hit and miss, and even the best jokes were in the trailer and are chuckle-worthy at best. The film follows the predictable path and tells the stories of four single women at different points in their life. We see our main character learn the rules of being single, such as let the guys buy you the drinks, when to respond to texts, how to cure hangovers before work, and following made-up rules about hooking up with friends. The performances by the cast aren't bad and makes it at least watchable, starring Dakota Johnson as Alice, the newly single young woman who gets a job as a paralegal and tries to move on from her ex, Rebel Wilson as Robin, Alice's wild co-worker who becomes her best friend, Leslie Mann as Meg, Alice's sister who's a gynecologist and never wanted a husband or kids until now, Alice and Brie as Lucy, a woman addicted to online dating that has extremely high standards, Anders Holm as Tom, a womanizer who doesn't want a relationship but starts to take a liking to Lucy, and Damon Wayans Jr. as David, a single dad who becomes friends with Alice. While it's not a total waste of time, How to Be Single is a muddled movie that could have used some more spice and is certainly a film the ladies will enjoy more than the guys. I'm going to give it the rating of meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the review. I'll be back next tomorrow with another review. And uh, you never know what it could be, so make sure you come back and check it out. Until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.